Morning on Pubco Studios in Oklahoma City. You're watching the Press Row. I'm Jenny Carlson here with Barry Trammell. Time for our weekly inbox segment. Barry, it's a Mike Gundy special this week. All Mike Gundy all the time. Let's get right to it. This question comes from Mike, of course. Mike says, what's the chance that Mike Holder might leave or resign? That would thrill this old cowboy. What about that? Barry? Well, uh, Mike, not Gundy, not, uh, not uh, Holder, the old cowboy. Mike? you're gonna to have to take a number. A lot of people would like to see Holder gone as the OSUAD, but the truth is he's done a good job. He's helped uh, build this, uh, this Oklahoma State football brand into what it is, and um, he's, he's not going anywhere. Now, when Boone Pickens is gone, maybe Mike Holder steps down or is invited to step down. I don't know, but knowing this whole uh, contract uh, power struggle going on with Gundy and Holder, uh, you're not gonna see a Holder step down. Yeah, okay, somebody asked me yesterday, if push came to shove, which Mike has the uh, preference with Boone Pickens, who's obviously huge in the whole equation. And it didn't take me long to think about that being Mike Holder. Mike Holder is the hand-picked AD for Boone Pickens. Boone Pickens said, I'll give you my money, but only if you hire that guy as AD. So while I think nobody wants to see Mike Gundy leave Stillwater, I think Mike Holder's job and his relationship with Boone Pickens makes his job safe. They need to work this out, Barry. They need to get in a room, become adults, and get this figured out because clearly the relationship between Mike Gundy and Mike Holder, as you wrote in the uh, Wednesday Oklahoma, and it's fractured. They need to get it fixed. All right, back to the inbox. This one from Grant. Grant says, in making the New York Yankee analogy, was Mike Gundy insinuating that he is Billy Martin and Mike Holder is George Steinbrenner? <laughs> Good well, question from Grant. No, the answer is no for this reason. Remember who, who was the AD when Mike Gundy was hired? It was Harry Birdwell. Now, Mike, Gundy, Mike Holder was heavily involved, Boone Pickens was involved, uh, but at the, when, eight years ago, nobody really knew how this whole thing was gonna, was gonna uh, go, um, but I like this question from Grant for this reason. The reason a New York Jan a Yankee job is the New York Yankees is because there is somebody like George Steinbrenner. You know, somebody had to make it great. Somebody has to fund it. Somebody has to give you the resources to make it uh, successful. And just as George Steinbrenner did that, uh, the Boone Pickens Mike uh, Holder uh, partnership has done that at OSU. So. If you want the Yankee job, you got to work with George Steinbrenner. Yeah. If you want the OSU job, you got to work with Mike Holder. Yeah, definitely so. And that, as I alluded to before, these two guys need to get into a room and get things figured out. It sounds like last year that the uh, contract negotiations really brought out some contention that maybe was already starting to build and brought it to a head. And now uh, you've got Mike Gundy only a year after getting a big salary and, and an extension looking and flirting again and that's after a seven and five year Barry seven and five and Mike Gundy's trying to get leverage I think I might lay low if I were him no I mean I, I don't think it's a terrible year but it's not clearly Holder has the leverage not Mike Gundy definitely so all right back to the inbox and this one comes from Todd Todd says I know Mike Holder is the connection to Boone Pickens wallet but Mr. Pickens and Mike Holder will be making a huge mistake if they run off Gundy and turn OSU into a stepping stone job. What about that, Barry? If Gundy goes, does it automatically become a stepping stone? Well, that's a great question because historically it has been. Historically, Jimmy Johnson going from Miami to from OSU to Miami, Les Miles going from OSU to LSU. Um, you would think uh, you know same thing would happen, and that's why people were so enamored with Gundy. He was a he was an alum. He was a, a guy who had a passion for OSU. He was a guy that said, this is his Yankee job. You thought, we might be able to hang on to this guy. If Gundy leaves, then that sort of solidifies it as a stepping stone job. On the other hand, Oklahoma State has elevated itself to where it's at least on the level of an Arkansas and Tennessee in terms of status, in terms of ability to, to do great things, conference championships, BCS Bowls, contend for a national title. So I don't think Oklahoma State's job is where it was five years ago, 10 years ago, 30 years ago when, uh, when Jimmy Johnson left. But uh, it would be a step back for Oklahoma State football if Gundy left, no doubt about it. Yeah, and you know what? A couple of cautionary tales come to mind uh, as you're thinking about Mike Gundy and possibly leaving. The first is for Mike Gundy, Rich Rodriguez. He left his alma mater, and I think he still wishes he had never left West Virginia. Uh, so there's that cautionary tale. But there's also a cautionary tale for Mike Gundy and, and Boone Pickens. Think about Jerry Jones and him running Jimmy Johnson off. He's still looking for a coach as good as Jimmy Johnson. And so there's definitely both sides of this. 
They need to get it figured out. But I don't, I don't think it becomes a stepping stone job for all the reasons you mentioned. A lot more in facilities, a lot more going forth than it had when Mike Gundy was hired. Uh, I think that, that those days uh, are in the rearview mirror for Oklahoma State. All right, back to the inbox one last time for a question from Ed. Ed says, I bleed orange and think Gundy is doing a great job. But even though I can't fault him for checking out other schools, he better watch himself. Holder definitely has the better hand. This is what we came around to earlier, yeah. Barry. And here's what's unique about OSU. Most places where a coach has come in and done a fabulous job and, and brought you unparalleled success, and you know, you're in the greatest, the golden age of Oklahoma State footballs right now. Most places where that occurs, the coach is the boss. The coach is the king. The coach uh, has dominion. That's not the way it is at OSU. And that is because of the unique, uh, the unique benefactor status of Boone Pickens. Boone Pickens' money has made this possible in Stillwater. And so Boone and Mike Holder have, uh, have, uh, have authority, they have power that's fairly, uh, fairly unique in major college football. So um, I, think, uh, I think that's exactly right. Holder uh, definitely holds the cards in this, in this uh, contention, in this in this, uh, this uh, disagreement, whatever they're, whatever they're at odds are, Holder's the one that's got the cards. Gundy needs to realize that. Yeah, I think so too. And you know, I agree. And I think Oklahoma State fans are ready to say, just make a decision. I think they, much like uh, most of the folks at OSU would say, they want Mike Gundy to stick around, but they don't want this to go on. And yet it looks like it's going to. If it did after last year, if it did after two years ago, Barry, which you reported on uh, in the Wednesday Oklahoma, and, and it, it's going on after a seven and five year and a heart of Dallas bowl bid, I'm sorry, it's going to go on all the time. Remember, Jimmy Sexton is the agent for, for Mike uh, Gundy, and that means his name's going to be floated out there. That's what Jimmy Sexton does. So uh, I do think Mike Holder has got to, you know, has got to sort of wrest this away from Mike Gundy. And in the end, has got to say, listen, this has got to stop. We, you're our coach. You need to not be flirting with other people. I don't know if you can stop a guy, though, but clearly Mike Gundy, I think, is going to hurt himself at some point. And, and I just don't think it's good for either side right now, the way this whole thing's going down. Hey, be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.